So to convert metric units to this standard unit that we've been talking about, the meters or the kilograms or things like that, we're going to use this diagram. Now you might wonder, oh, am I going to have to remember all of this out of my head? And yes, you are going to have to. Well, um, it's not that difficult though. Or here's a little sentence that will actually help you. And it is a King Henry doesn't usually King Henry doesn't okay so that's kilo hectare deci a uh, deca okay and, and usually ooh, too many many s's there okay usually refers to the unit so that's the unit we're going to be using usually drink chocolate milk okay and this is desi centi and milli now desi centi and milli that little i at the end makes it sound small and that's indeed what it does is these are the small units while these kilo hectare deca they are the big units okay so king henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk stands for kilo hectare deca uh, the unit uh, deci centi and milli now how are we going to use this whole thing to actually convert units well imagine for yourself that we have um, we want to go from kilograms to just grams so for example I give you that you must convert 10 kilograms into how many grams well then you're going to look at this and see okay to get from kilo just to the unit in other words without the prefix these are called prefixes I'm going to have to multiply 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 three times three times by 10 so 10 kilograms is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 okay that's for the prefix kilo to grams okay so I'm gonna have to take 10 I should have actually done the 10 there okay I'm gonna have to multiply 10 with 10 10 10 grams okay so kilo gets represent gets replaced with multiply 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 so that I end up having 10,000 kilograms okay let me do one more okay let's say we have 4,7 kilometers okay so we know that 4,7 must be multiplied okay I'm going to multiply with 10 three times okay so another way of writing that is just 10 to the power of 3 sorry this time it's meters and that means it is 4700 meters so 4.7 kilometers is 4700 meters okay let's do the opposite way around let's say I have uh, 200 milliliters 200 milliliters okay and I want to just get to liters okay what do I have to do this time I want to go from milli I want to go to liters that means I'm going to have to divide with 10 okay I'm going to have to divide with 10 three times so it's going to be 200 divided by 10 divided by 10 divided by 10 okay and that would give me uh, divide by 10 once we'll take away the zero again we'll take away another zero again we'll move the comma one more space so 0 comma 2 liters okay so another way of writing that would have been to say 10 divided by 10 to the power of 3 or 
sorry, 200 divided by 10 to the power of 3, or 200 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Just different ways of writing all this. Okay, but in the end, that means my comma is going to move three spaces to the left. Okay, so it ends up being 0, 0,2. I'm not going to spend too much time on this as I want to get just to the next one, which is to go from hours and minutes and seconds. Okay, so these are also metric units, by the, but they are not base 10. Base 10 means if we get to 9, 10, then it switches over. So, for example, if I have 29, when 9 goes one unit up, this one goes yet one unit up. Okay, so when 9 switches over to 10, then the next digit switches over to the next digit. Okay, that's um, that's the decimal system. Uh, hours and minutes don't really work on the decimal system because if I have my hours and my minutes and my seconds here, um, the minutes and seconds work on a system of 60. So once I get to 60, okay, once I get to 60, only then do the next one change with one unit. Okay, so every 60 seconds is one minute. Okay, every uh, 60 minutes is one hour. This system was actually used by the uh, Mayan Indians. Okay, like that's the system they used to count with every 60 um, went to the next number. But let's leave that there. Okay, so how does that work? Well, this time, in, since here we had to multiply with 10 every time because there's 10 units um, before it crosses over, if that's the word. Or uh, if that makes sense. This time, since there's 60 units, then only do we cross over. So this time we just multiply or divide with uh, 60. So in other words, if I have 37 minutes and I want to know how much that is in seconds, I want to go from minutes to seconds, which means I will multiply with 60 ones. So 37 times 60. And I'm not going to actually do that. You can do that on your calculator much better quicker um, then I'm gonna do it right now so I'm just going to go through some examples okay so next is what if I have um, 42 hundred okay that many seconds and I want to go actually to hours okay so to go from seconds to hours I must divide with 60 twice so I'm going to say 4200 multiply with 60 to the power of negative 2 okay negative exponents means I'm actually dividing okay so that's why I do that okay so now that we are able to do that if for example we can use this decimal system um, and we can use the seconds and hour system, the 60, the base 60 system. Let's try and now go from kilometers per hour to meters per second. Okay, and that's quite simple. Okay, here we just need to go from kilometers to meters. Okay, so from kilometers to meters we need to multiply 1 2 3 with 10 three times so we're going to multiply with 10 to the power of 3 okay and then to go from hours to seconds that's what we just did up here to go from hours to seconds I need to oh it's always also going that side I'm also going to multiply with 60 but here what's very important is that um, my my hours is actually in the denominator okay so I'm actually dividing with hours so to go from there to seconds I must multiply with 60 twice so 60 squared but I'm doing it twice in the denominator so that means I'm dividing with 60 squared and this is just a uh, common thing that you're going to use a lot so it's just good that we do it once at least so there we go to go from 
kilometers to meters per second so one kilometer per hour is equal to this meters per second there we go that's where i'm going to stop it good luck try some on your own and i'm sure you're going to be